When trying to better a surfing performance, surfers must train in substandard surf on a regular basis. It would be great to have regular access to a wave pool or beautiful lined up waves, but for the majority this is not a reality. So paddling out to train and performance in poor surf is what most surfers face all too often. Here's some footage of a group of surfers from Tasmania surfing in poor surf conditions. In this training session I set tasks that focused on their wave selection and first manoeuvre as these were skill components that were doable in the conditions and accessible for the group. To achieve better quality wave selection I counseled the group to look for waves that had no wall as these type of waves tended to break on the sandbanks better and not close out. Setting up the first turn was done by either creating speed first then performing a first manoeuvre or if a wave was more pockety drop down to perform a strong bottom turn. The reality was that in amongst the successes many poor waves were ridden as often the quality of a wave was not fully known until the surfer had taken off and in poor surf this is often the case. So when faced with poor surf Surfers have to be realistic about their potential successes and set goals for a training session that match their current ability and how much performance potential the waves will allow.